Welcome back to Alliance's Heroes, where heroes in business align. To be part of our super community and find out more about Alliances, visit www.alliances.com. Now, back to our super host, David Kogan, founder of Alliances. That's right. What an amazing morning it's been. I mean, we started off with the world's fastest reader. We also had a podcast pioneer who's VP of Content of Libsyn. We had the the former CEO of 3D Systems, now with Exponential Works. I mean, I just love it. I love it. I love it. And by the way, thank you for the feedback we continue to have from when we had the CEO of Calvin Klein on. So make sure you go to alliances.com, the only place where entrepreneurs align, E-L-I-A-N-C-E-S.com. Well, you know the show, The Fosters. We have with us Jude from the show, Hayden Byerly, and you can reach him at Hayden's Hope totes.org all right hayden you started acting at the age of 11 i did yeah i was I, very very young i mean what did you think first walking onto the set at such a young age you know it was it was kind of a normal experience in a way which is weird to say however being so young and growing up in the industry it seemed normal to me that was what i was surrounded by i you know, I'm, I'm comfortable and used to walking around large trucks and big rigs and, you know, very large sets. And I, I'm not uncomfortable re- being around million dollar cameras. I, I have no worry about that type of environment purely because it's what I'm used to. It almost feels more natural to me than anything else. So, And how many seasons again was the Fosters? Five. Five seasons. Five seasons. So during that time, too, then you... Uh, you you had to go to school at the same time, right? Absolutely. So yeah, how did that every day. work? How did? Well, uh, I would do. I, I would I would stay on set for about nine and a half hours a day, and three of that uh, was me doing school. I was legally required to do that every single day, and I had a set teacher who would help me and walk me through a number of different assignments and help me work through a lot of my work. Being the incredible genius that he was, however, it definitely didn't take me three hours a day to get school done. However, again, required by law, you sit in the classroom for three hours right. a day wow. and learn. Wow. So it was very interesting for me. However, as a, you know, as a younger kid, I did like the schedule and kind of the set routine. I understood and very clearly accepted the fact that when I was done with school, I would just get to work. And when I was done with work, I would get to go home. Because I think a lot of people watching don't realize uh, you know, uh, these children do go to school at the same time while they're also working. I mean, absolutely, I really have no idea. What was your favorite uh, episode of The Fosters? Oh, I, I loved all of the, the final two when we were in Turks and Caicos. We filmed down in, in the Caribbean for about two weeks. And that was like a dream vacation. I mean, it, it almost feels like it was never real. I got to spend an incredible amount of time on a wonderful resort with people that I love and care about. And we were filming, doing something that I'm passionate about. So it was a true gift. And again, we're talking with Hayden Byerly, the youngest first same sex kiss on national TV. Unbelievable. I mean, uh, it just... Uh, it's just it's it's incredible, and you're also too doing so many things with. Um, let's talk about Hayden's Hope Totes, and again, you can go to Hayden's Hope Totes dot org. Talk to us about this and something that you started. Absolutely, uh, it's a nonprofit organization that my mother and I established in 2015. We've been working on it diligently for the past four years. It's something that we love and are incredibly passionate about. It provides duffel bags to foster kids who are taken from their homes and put into the foster care system. A lot of people don't know that when these kids are taken, maybe two, three, four in the morning, in the middle of the night, that the clothes and the items that they're allowed to carry sometimes are held within their arms or maybe even a trash bag. So this provides them with something in in a world in which they don't know what's going on and they're being moved around it's some type of sense of security and comfort awesome Hayden talk to me and tell me what type of role if you could pick any role that there are because we've got you know uh, producers that are listening probably CEOs some major studios that also listen to our show if there was a type of role that you would most likely to want to be casted in what would it be something that changes the world I would love to reshape the way that we view society and people and humans. I, I would love to do something that changes the game. Um, 
that I feel like that's why we're all here is to do something different and unique. And I think that we all have the chance to. We just have to really work hard enough for it. And that's what we're doing here by listening to me, David exactly. Kogan, host of the Alliances Hero Show. Make sure you go to alliances.com. That's E-L-I-A-N-C-E-S.com because we have with us Hayden Byerly, actor from The Fosters, Hayden's Hope Totes, creator of Department of Good Apparel Collaboration, and more. Make sure you go to Hayden's Hope Totes.org. Video games, video games, video games. It has got to be the coolest thing ever to be in a video game, be the voice of a video game, steal the thunder and tell us the ones you've been in. Well, I will say that my favorite video game I've ever been in is Call of Duty. That was by far one of the most incredible experiences I've had working. I got to do motion capture for them, so I had the full suit and all the dots on, and I was sitting in this huge empty black room, and they were showing me all the different animations for what it would look like when they textured everything in and the outlines. I got to see them scan my entire face and then render it into a computer. It, it was just an entirely uh, different experience, something that I had never seen before. It was so much more technologically advanced, and I got to see the production side of it, which really drew me into it more. I mean, I'd love to continue to look at directing and being a producer and all the other aspects of the industry because so many people are important and essential to what we do. How surreal is it playing the video game and then hearing And then your seeing voice? yourself in the video game? Oh my it's God. pretty trippy. <laughs> it's very trippy. Um, well, what's also really cool is is that uh, you recently at one of our Alliances experiences, being at the Alliances Grand Table, with hundreds and hundreds of celebrities and inventors, creators, billionaires, millionaires, and so much more. Uh, at the breakout session, you had a line, too, out the door. Everybody wanted to speak with you. We had to, like, pull you away to do some interviews and stuff. Talk to us, though, uh, about really kind of what it meant for you to be there. It was incredible, honestly. Uh, it was the first, you know, round table, grand table that I've ever been to. And I'll say that it was a remarkable experience to have so many brilliant minds and people who want to change the world and have an initiative to take responsibility for their place in all of this, for the change and the mark that they can make, not only in their society and community, but in the entire world itself. These are a group of people who are leaders, not followers. They want to change the world and make a difference. They're trying to better not only, you know, society and, and just the day-to-day -day life for us, but for our kids, for my kids, for my grandkids, for generations and futures to come. We hope that there's a planet that's still here and that's still, you know, usable and still <laughs> viable, resourceful. So I, I truly hope that, you know, I, I continue to see more and more incredible Alliance heroes and people. It's truly inspirational and motivational to be in that room with you and everyone else and I love it. Absolutely. So, and you may have the opportunity to attend one of our Alliances experiences and may be able to meet Hayden in person. So make sure you go to alliances.com. That's E-L-I-A-N-C-E-S dot com. Un I mean, you're just involved in doing so many things. I mean, I e even designing a skateboard, right? Absolutely. Uh, briefly talk to us about that. I, I, I've i been skating for a long time. I love it. It's a wonderful pastime. I certainly can't surf. However, I, I have been on the snow and the concrete before. And, you know, again, I think that there are numerous things that we're all passionate about, and you can find ways in order to incorporate your livelihood and lifestyle into those passions. You don't have to conform to a job that you hate or do something that you don't enjoy. You can incorporate all of the wonderful things in your life, your dreams and goals, and make them a reality. Now, Hayden, you know, you again, you're 18 years old now. You started when you were 11 years old. What type of advice, though, can you give to parents who are now, because you're fortunate, you've been very lucky to have such a supportive mother who's also here within our studio, which is just, I mean, it, it's, a, it's a godsend having her part of your life for sure, and, and I'm watching you grow up too and stuff, but... Um, uh, advice for parents who want their children or child to go into acting. I think the most important thing is to love and support them no matter what. Um, you're their number one fan. At the end of the day, it doesn't matter you know, what I do or where I go. I know that my mom will always be a bigger fan than anyone else for me. And that means the world to me. So you, you just have to make sure that you 
trust yourself and your kids. You allow them the opportunities and chance in order to shine and grow. You have to listen to them. Sometimes they're going to say things to you that you might not want to hear, but if they truly have a passion and a voice, then they need to be heard. And you need to show them how to express themselves and to define who they are as a person and as an individual in this world. Otherwise, you get lost and you become a sheep to the herd. Well, Hayden, your new nickname at Alliances now is Old Soul. <laughs> old Soul. Hayden, Old Soul. You inspire so many and work hard to make a difference. That's a hero. Check out Hayden's Hope Totes by going to haydenshopetotes.org. Hayden Byerly. That's right, a hero. Alliances.com. This has been David Kogan. You have been listening to Alliances Heroes, where heroes in business align. Alliances is the destination for entrepreneurs, investors, CEOs, inventors, leaders, celebrities, and startups. To present your superpower, visit www.alliances.com.